So taking a look at creativecouple.com, um, at first glance, this is a really engaging and exciting um, portfolio to take a look at. It has tons of really high quality visuals, really good use cases in terms of how you navigate it. It's a, definitely not your standard portfolio website. You can tell that a lot of personalization went into it, which especially since this is a site to try to show off some of the skills that you have, I think is a really brilliant use of it. Um, love the love the different use case of where the nav bar is, how it's situated, um, how unique the animations and subtleties are here on the smaller icons. Um, I do think what really stands out to me as I go through this is the consistency and how the colors actually blend together with so many of these projects, despite the fact that they're entirely different clients, that you could really get a feeling for what is the styling that you have, um, even though these are different clients. Um, going through the actual site as well, I think that it's really done a good job at balancing out what are some of the more easier to read or more um, more subtle sides of showing off the work with some of the flashier elements that you have here, like your Lottie animations or the changes that you've made in terms of really being able to show off what you've been able to accomplish with some of the CMSs. So really being able to split off these screens, um, this is really exciting. Um, and continuing to go through each one of these nav sections gives a slightly different experience, which is definitely something that takes a lot of time and effort, but it still feels as though like it's part of a core experience that someone can ask about, can get a feeling about, and really learn a lot about what is possible when working with you. Um, I think as well, going through each one of these sections, I really do appreciate the the difference and the contrast that you get in each one of these pages. And especially it even blending into this last element of really trying to make it very, very focused on what is the text that you're looking for, what is the way that you want to be perceived. And I, I do love the approach, especially from somebody who has worked with agencies in the past, really trying to figure out, okay, at the end of this, are we are we a good fit? So I think that there's a good use of copy and balance here as well. What I would really like to see um, as you continue to kind of build out on this is thinking about um, perhaps this is something that you want to experiment with, but having some qualifier questions and here are qualifier sections, perhaps in the content, um, not content, in the contact section to see what is perhaps price point, expectations, timeline, or even having a banner of whether or not you guys are available, um, I think might be something that may be worth looking into if you're curious. Um, and the other thing as well is just like small, um, small updates on making sure that perhaps some of the larger file sizes in here um, are condensed or are are able to be a little bit smaller to make the site itself uh, a little bit faster. And some attention to detail perhaps on elements like this, for instance, where we have rich history by default on this side, uh, blending in with the background of some of the numbers here. And even though there's this really wonderful animation that comes over on the hover over, um, it might be interesting to see if there's a way that you can have a small backing on that to protect um, protect any opportunity that there may be some distractions of overlaying that text over a complicated background. But overall, great job. Um, really exciting to see how creative this portfolio became.